Hey, what's going on? You just got your new gateway. How do you connect it? Well, I'm about to show you how, a few tricks, and how I found mine a long time ago before I knew a lot about AT&T. Hang tight. Okay, so got your router, got your green data cable, got your power plug. Where is this outlet at? I have not seen it anywhere. Easiest thing to do is just simply do a little bit of house cleaning because it's probably behind a basket or a TV stand or something. Luckily for me, it's behind this little stand, this little, this little basket. I didn't know it was that. Look at there, right there, unbelievable. So you're gonna grab your gateway, set it down on the ground or a stand or whatever. Plug your power into the outlet. Plug your receiving side to the gateway. It should have a little green light like that. And these are color coded. Green for DSL. Red is for ONT, we don't have that right now. And white is gonna be for your phone. If your house is wired for phone, which 99% aren't, that one would go straight into here and light up all the other plugs in the house. Well, with DSL broadband, AT&T, you have to have a direct line connection. So this goes to the network can outside the house, from the can outside the house to the pole, from the pole to the serving terminal, from the serving terminal to uh, however it goes all the way up to the satellite skies of uh, Tesla. Um, is your data cable. Plug it in green. All right. And then you grab the other one. Plug it in green. Uh, I'm sorry. Just plug it in. Green right here. And that's it. This is going to start blinking all kinds of colors, of course. I do not have broadband DSL. I have fiber at this home. But uh, at my previous home, this is how it was set up. Jack, system, and this. Prefer preferably, these are in the centralized locations of homes. Um, if they're not... These gateways do have some pretty good power. They can go through a few walls here and there. Uh, mesh systems are gonna be your best friends too if you decide to get something like that. Um, if you're under 50 megabytes per second, you really don't need the 5G. You only need 2.4. Uh, there is a BG N card on here. The N card will reach about 100 megabytes per second on 2.4 and it's got a whole lot more range. Um, other than that, this is pretty much the most basic way I can show you to do the install. If you do not have these kind of phone jacks in the house, um, you should be able to see something with a newer plate and a single port or dual port. Usually the greens are going to indicate internet while the reds will be ONT. So if you had an ONT, if you have a red port at your house, you'll want to contact at and like, Hey, do I have an ONT in my home? You'll usually find those ONTs in garages if you do. Um, yellow is going to be basically back feeding the signal from here into the wall outlet on this one and then into a smart panel and then into the other portion of your house. Um, that's pretty much all I can say about this. It's, it's as simple as that. As long as your account's ready, activated, smart home manager, you got to have that too. Uh, as long as that's set up, you'll be fine. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for coming to the channel. I hope this helps you out with self installs or reinstalls or any kind of installs. I hope to bring out more content for you guys, and hopefully I can speak to an AT&T tech and kind of give me some more tips and advices. Anywho, you guys have a good one.